Alright, so we got an all new update for Samsung's game launcher application which brings in a lot of cool changes. In fact, there is a completely redesigned user interface on this all new version. Let's go ahead and take a look at all that has changed with this update. Now on the left hand side, we have got Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra where I have already updated the game launcher app. And uh, here on the right, I have got the A52 which has the previous version of game launcher. This will help us compare and see what is new on this all new update. Let's go ahead and open game launcher on both these phones. Instantly, you will be able to notice a lot of changes here. The first thing we are going to see is this hamburger menu which is there on the top in the previous version has been pushed to the bottom right corner with this new update. As you can see here, we've got all new tabs here, home, instant place and this hamburger menu. When you tap on this, this is how the options are organized here. Whereas in the previous version, this is how it looks. Now this one here looks more like gallery applications menu. I think going forward, more or less, we will see this on each and every system applications on Samsung. All right, now let's go back. As you can see, the installed games and instant games have each been organized into separate tabs here. As you can see on this newer version, we have got My Games, where you get to see all the installed games. And here at the bottom, we have got Instant Play tabs. Whereas in the previous version here, we see the recently played games and the library is over here at the bottom, which contains all the games that you have installed. That is the second change we have. Now let's talk about the next one. Uh, we have recent and library both are put together under my games. Under this tab, we will be able to see all the recently played games as well as all the installed games in one section. Now the next added feature is setting a theme for game launcher. The dark theme has been provided as default, but if you want to change it, you can tap on this hamburger menu, go to settings, here under display notification settings, we have got theme where you can change it to either light mode, dark mode or match phone settings. By default, it is set to dark mode here, which most of us prefer. All right, now the next one is bookmark feature has been added. Now we can add apps, images and web pages necessary for games to the game launcher. We can just tap on plus button and we can go to web page or we can add a picture or any particular application here as you can see. All right, now the next added feature is gaming timeline. As you can see here, when you scroll down, there is an option called gaming timeline. This is going to show us the history of the games we have installed, deleted or recorded. All that will come and sit here under game timeline. And in the change log, the developer has mentioned that they are planning additional records for various games in the future. Okay, now the last important change is turning on or off priority mode on the game launcher. Priority mode is nothing but a feature that blocks incoming calls and notifications, excluding alarms so that you can fully immerse yourself in your game. This feature can be turned on or off right here in the game launcher itself. As you can see, under my games, you have got game sound and priority mode. When you tap on priority mode, it is going to ask you to turn on the priority mode if it is off. This is the pop-up you get and just tap on turn on. We can also adjust the game sound over here with this option. These are the cool new changes we have got on Game Launcher. I'm sure if you are an enthusiast gamer, you are going to love all these new features which have been added with this update on Game Launcher. If I'm not wrong, the Game Launcher on One UI 4.0 will also have all these features and the same have been provided here with this update. Let me know what do you think about it in the comment section below and if you're new on the channel, make sure to subscribe and leave a like for the video if you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching you guys. Take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.